Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I hope your Monday's going off just right. We're about to get it started with some fish tank review. So our first story of today starts off a little bit dramatic. Here we have a fish that is stuck in a submarine sort of artificial decor. Now to me, that looks like a goldfish, but I just have no idea how it even got in there. If the hole is bigger on the other side, maybe, or if this is like a broken thing, they can get in somehow, squish themselves inside. But man, that fish is looking way too big to get into that subussy, you know what I mean? Fish are just bored out of their minds these days, you know what I mean? Especially the billionaire kind of fish, the rich ones, staying alive and and staying safe is not enough for them. They gotta seek thrills. Now they're stuck. They're gonna run out of oxygen. Maybe the sub implodes just from the other angle. So yeah, there really is no bigger hole that the fish can get into. I guess it just lodged itself in there somehow. I didn't know goldfish were capable of doing this. I feel like it isn't totally the owner's fault because if I saw a fish that's that sized, I wouldn't have thought it could even go into this artificial decoration. That hole looks way too small for it. It is hard stuck in there. The absolute menace put himself in jail. I assume he got in through the side window. Maybe you can entice him to swim back out or gently prod and see if it makes him react and back out. This seems really tricky. Honestly, given the personality of Chinese algae eaters, usually have deserved. Oh, this is a Chinese algae eater? All right, why are we even worried about this fish? Let him die. Just kidding, just kidding. All fish are not made equal, but they still deserve a second chance. All your other fish in the tank probably are clapping that this algae eater got itself stuck. Maybe the other fish even bullied the algae eater into submission, into this submarine. Why do we hate Chinese algae eaters? We're not racist, I'm Chinese myself, and I've been known to eat algae sometimes. But these fish are very known to strip the slime coat off of other fish. Fish for no reason. They're not even hungry. Titan Jr. I, I knew it was coming. Just more fodder for the Titanic. How many hours of oxygen does he have? Too soon. Actually, not too soon. I don't even feel that bad. Are we all going to hell where the billionaires are? <laughs> I don't want to join these billionaires in hell, man. That That's what makes it hell. I just realized that. Wow. They're going in on this contraption trying to figure uh, it out. I don't want to cut you. That almost get you. No, you're fine. What do you think it was the working. Back? The back? I don't know. Can someone else hold it? We need something to hold it, like not a hand. Uh, they don't sound like they're, uh, they don't sound like they know what the heck they're doing actually. <laughs> Can someone just hold it? Someone needs to hold it, not a hand. Let's just say this is not the stuff you want to hear at the operating table as your anesthesia is kicking in and you are zooming away into dreamland and your surgeon's getting ready to perform surgery. Can someone just hold it, not a hand? Just get out of there, mister. Did it even do anything? Oh yeah, it did stop. Look at that. Yeah, so I'm saying you now? can do it. You're doing it right. We just need to do it a little more hardcore. Are we still talking about the issue at hand? What is he thinking oh, right cool. now? He's like, oh, my life's over. Almost there. Almost. There. Oh, it actually looks like it's gonna work. Just a few more pumps. Try not to get, to get his tail. It's okay. Honestly, he can live without his tail. What? Oh, you got him! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> take him out? This is horrific. Even I am starting to feel bad for this Chinese algae eater. Not something I thought I would ever say. This fish, I mean, that must have been one heck of an experience for that fish. The fish is safe, ladies and gentlemen. Despite the circumstances, despite that this is a Chinese algae eater, it's still nice to know and see that the fish is safe. And I think relatively unharmed. At least we have one good submarine outcome. <laughs> Only a Chinese algae eater could survive something like this. True. Hey guys, quick pause to talk about the sponsor of this episode, The Ridge Wallet. The Ridge has teamed up with Hennessy for their third annual summer sweepstakes, and they're featuring their brand new, very stylish Hennessy wallets and key case. Just look at that solid construction. So go to ridge.com FFT and use code FFT for 10% off right now to enter their sweepstakes. You have a chance to win a brand new Ford Bronco. And okay, for those of you who have a cool car already, good for you, but you can still choose a $75,000 cash price instead of the brand new Bronco. There's absolutely no other wallet on earth that can hold coins, cash, and offer you a chance to win $75,000 in cash 
or a brand new awesome Ford Bronco. There's actually free forms of entry from five entries to 25 entries via email or text. But for every $1 spent, that is equal to one entry. Custom Hennessy products come with up to 1,000 entries. And you actually immediately get 10 extra entries if you use my link and code in the description and comments below. And money spent on the key case counts as well. It is important to remember this wallet is not a gimmick wallet. In fact, the Ridge as a company is so confident in their product, they'll let you test drive it for 99 days. If you don't like it, send it back for a full refund. Why are they so confident in their own product? They got 80,000 five-star reviews. I don't have 80,000 of anything. And it comes with a lifetime warranty if you decide to keep it. <laughs> this thing's solid, just like the Ford Bronco. It looks like if a train hit this car, the train would be in trouble. Again, that's ridge.com slash FFT. Use code FFT for 10% off and extra entries. This tank, brilliantly planted tank, is sent in by Matthew G. Anubias, Java Fern for days. We got Dwarf Sag in the front and it's very lightly stocked. There's some shrimp and there's some, I think those are Apistos? Apisto Triple Reds maybe? I'm not too sure y'all. Let me know in the comments what do you think they are. And I'm really curious to how they're living with shrimp. Even if they're not Apistos somehow, they still look like some predatorial cichlids of some sort. And these dwarf cichlids really like picking up shrimp because they are natural hunters. How is there a healthy shrimp population in this tank? I don't get it. Are they just that well fed? Escape score of 4.65 out of 5. Keep it up. My wife came home for lunch today. She forgot to put the chair back. It took me 13 years to convince her to let me get fish. I think she's on board with the hobby now. That is one of the cutest things. Just these little moments and these little hints that your SO is getting to know and love your hobby. I hope this happens to me as well. I really do. I want to catch my fiance just in front of my fish tanks and relaxing after a hard day's work because it truly is a therapeutic thing like just seeing little fish swim around, little activities happening in this glass with nature in it. Who can say that doesn't help with de-stress? No one. But they have the best setup because we set up the tank and they just get to enjoy and they don't have to stress when something goes wrong. <laughs> That's a good deal if I ever heard one. Anonymous cactus sent in this tank. A very yellow hued tank. It's kind of black water-ish. It's a species tank it's like a river biotope. So a black water river biotope and it's done really well. We got the round river stones. You see the side profile of the river and there's branches dangling in to add complexity to the ecosystem as well as Vallisneria growing very tall. This is a nice and enjoyable tank. I really enjoy that there's only one species in this tank schooling together. Escape score of 4.75 out of 5. Keep it up. My crayfish crashed his plane <laughs> and he's very proud of it, I think. Look at that. I hope no fish get stuck in there. This is a great use of artificial decor. You can get pictures like this with your crayfish. All it needs is a pair of aviators. I think that's the new Top Gun Maverick movie. I haven't actually got a fish yet, but I think my water lettuce game is strong. Wow. Yes, very strong. It's the excess nutrients from a newly set up tank that is present in the water column and also leaching from the nutrient rich substrate. That's why you don't have to fertilize your tank for a pretty long while when you first set it up. Your S Repens game is strong too, bro. Wonder what you're putting in here. Hopefully some micro rasboras or something like that because it don't look like a big tank or maybe a solo bed of fish, maybe some shrimp. Ian sent in this tank. Look at the colors. That's crazy, bro. It might be a bit too small for glass catfish, but it's arguable, okay? I've always thought that glass catfish, the stocking recommendations was a little bit arguable. To me, this is great. I don't think this is problematic at all. Um, I think they're comfortable where they are and there's even a Krebenzis, perhaps a Krebenzis pair. I would find it a little bit more better and comfortable if it was just one solo Krebenzis in here. If they start breeding, those glass cats might actually be in trouble. Other than that, the textures, the colors are just crazy. Oh, there's also a betta fish in here. That is a little bit crowded, I feel like. Crepenses can hold their own and they can get a bit aggressive towards fish like betta fish that are not wary of territory. And then we got glass cats trying to avoid the fights. I think I'm gonna leave this unrated because I'm just not sure about the husbandry at this point. It's a beautiful tank though, don't get me wrong. This is sent in by Lord Shgreeb from the FFT Discord server. It's an arowana tank that's actually not bad for once. The setup is actually conducive to the movement of the fish and the well-being of the fish for once. Very rare to see, sadly to say, because arowana is such awesome and popularized fish that people who want fish but don't want to learn anything about it, just throw in some arowana, call it a day. That's why they get abused. They're kind of like the goldfish of the bigger monster fish keeping world. It's in a beautifully, whoa, whoa, that, that clown loach is massive. 
See, that's how big clown loaches can get, guys. That's why I don't recommend clown loaches to anyone. I try not to, because I know they don't have a big enough tank for them. If they do have a big enough tank for clown loaches, they don't need to be asking me anything. I don't have to be recommending them anything. They know exactly what they're doing and exactly what they want. People think uh, clown loaches are going to max out at those kind of uh, weight classes. They never realize it's half an arowana. It could probably keep growing, too, a little bit. Oh, that is so cool. Just a bunch of bettas getting fed. Hand fed. Some blood worms. Must be a betta breeder. I think most of these are female bettas. There could be some males in there though. Short fins. That snuck in there. Some lucky males. <laughs> Just beautiful. I need to do this one day. The feeling must be exquisite. That wasn't enough though. Most of these guys didn't get anything to eat. Round two please. Wow. That's like a pond. Oh, it's a bucket. Bucket pond. That was awesome. Where's the water coming from? From the fish tank? You mean delicious nitrogen and fish fertilizer, and then the fishes get fresh water. Let's see if we can see in there. All the way out to the garden. Wow, that's a long ass hose. I bet that feels awesome just to not waste anything. And it's great fertilizer, like they said. I did something similar in my last place where I lived. I would still, like someone should be in there unless the hose is very securely clamped down or something to the fish tank because any movement, it can cause the hose or one end of the hose to like flip out of the fish tank. And that's, that's a wrap. Water everywhere on your floors. Flipping that wood up. That's an expensive thing. Guess I can't buy it. Aquatic Buddies kit, men's size. <laughs> oh, cause it's blue, of course. The color blue, exclusive for men. What, you think you're a woman and you can get a blue colored product? Get out of here. This is 2023. It'll take at least another century for us to get over that as a species. Very sad. After a few days, Cal, wow, great name for a fish. Finally found out how to use his new viewing center. <laughs> great idea, great execution. Ingenious engineering right here. This is Janet sending in their 30 L cube. What is 30 uh, liters? Maybe like five gallons. Let me search this up. 7.9 US gallons, so a gallon. Pretty good size, nice light up top, beautifully aquascaped, and got a species tank of probably just neon tetras. I just wanna believe that it, it's only neon tetras in there. There's no crepenses, there's no betta fish. Nice hair grass carpet, there's some hydrocotyl. The hydrocotyl bush is going crazy. Scape score 4.82 out of five, keep it up. Aquarium art. Oh gosh, this is from the Ginza Art Gallery in Tokyo again. <laughs> I'm just freestyling here. This is a poetic gesture of the humanity that they put themselves into to the, this uh, bowl and they limit themselves. At the same time, they threaten their own species with weapons of destruction. Actually, it does kind of make sense to me. Like we are born and we're just like another species of animal, but our social constructs, money, getting an education, going to school. If you don't get an A, you commit suicide for people who are in high pressure systems like uh, China and Japan and stuff. The suicide rate is very high just because you didn't put the right answers on a piece of paper with a pen. That is no life at all. That's not a way to live. Just try to live the best life you can. You don't have to set up these imaginary uh, systems and boundaries and limitations and expectations, especially if you're a parent watching this, stop setting the expectations so high for your children. You're going to contribute to their depression. The last thing you want as a parent is to drive the pressure so high that just because your children fail a test, they're contemplating suicide. Imagine that, man. We got one life to live. That is not a way to live. An update on George. The dumpster fish. What? Why would there be a dump? What does the dumpster fish mean? On July 4th, I found an abandoned dwarf gorhammy in a fishbowl by the dumpster in my complex. Yo, that is very depressing because there's someone in the same complex you're living in that threw that fish away and now you gotta take a wild guess who is it that guy you see at the elevator every day going to work the same time can never trust anyone but here's the new tank i'm glad you took him in at this point let's not worry about how the tank looks the husbandry looks on point you're learning a lot about this hobby and hopefully have a great time getting introduced into this hobby by rescuing your first fish and this is a real rescue more real than 99 percent of the rescues out there pat yourself on the back bro you earned a medal it's a purple heart right there Caught in the act of ripping up my hydrocodal. It do be like that. Devious lick. <laughs> Tamago's been deviously licking all the plants I've been trying to put in her tank and maintain. Wonder how many fish feel like they're in Black Mirror because of bowls. It's getting cloudy in here which means soon I'll be abducted by that thing from above. Eventually it puts me in another tank. It will look like my tank, but it won't be my tank. Things will be off. Plants moved. 
rocks disheveled, castle slightly askew. Wow, this fish has great vocabulary. I've lost count of how many times I've traveled the multiverse. All right, now this is a Odie, but Goldie. Just in case some of y'all haven't seen it before. Just two plecos cleaning the glass and spelling out <laughs> classic, timeless, genius level meme. What even are these really? They're beta fish tanks, bro. Can't you read? $5 a pop. That is, that is one of the best deals. With housing so expensive, wow. A gift from God, no doubt. What this really looks like? Filtration part of a tank setup. It's wild that anyone would call that the main part of the tank. Like, that's the tank. No, that is, at its best, one component of a filter. Who in their right mind? Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video. So glad you guys can make it all the way till the end, boosting that algorithm. But before we blow this popsicle stand, you're gonna have to answer, caught what? At what age or how long have you been in the fish keeping hobby? For me, I've been in this hobby for a whole And if you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, clear my fin rod from Carisiformes to Paratroodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.